The asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter formed in a similar way as the rest of the planets. There are a couple of theories that explain how the solar system began, but the most accepted one is the nebular theory. This theory suggests the solar system started as a large shapeless cloud of gas, dust and ice, but the explosion of a nearby star disrupted the mass and set things in motion. The dust and gas began to spin faster and faster in a circle and gravity began to cause bits to clump together and form larger bodies called planetesimals. As the accretion continued, planetesimals turned into protoplanets and then developed into planets. Gravity drives the formation of celestial bodies. It pulls material together so it can form stars, moons, planets and galaxies. But in order for these to form, you need just enough gravity. Too little or too much and they won't form. The area between Mars and Jupiter had too much gravity going on and Jupiter was the reason. The gas giant is the most massive object in our solar system. And as you've probably already heard, objects with more mass have more gravity. Jupiter's large gravitational pull on the area that would become the asteroid belt is believed to be the main reason why these bodies were never able to form a single object. The gravity created by Jupiter would pull apart anything large and cause any potential protoplanets to collide and break apart into smaller bits. So the billions of little asteroids in the belt never formed into a planet and continued to orbit around the sun in the same direction as all the other planets in the solar system.